Good morning, it's Sandy Pro, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about how I became introduced to the garden. Um, growing up, my father, once they built this house, um, started a garden, and every year he'd faithfully go out there and rototill and compost and bring in local manure and fertilize his garden and plant squash, tomatoes, root barb. Uh, let's see what else did he do. Um, cucumbers, radishes, carrots, scallions. We had a number of vegetables out there that were absolutely delicious and my mom liked to cook and whatever we got it was used thoroughly. But my treat that I liked the best was just going out and picking a tomato off the vine. Mmm, fresh tomato juicy. Rinse it off with a garden hose and eat it. Now, I'm joined today in the state of Maine with a bunch of black flies. They just came over and checked me out, so hopefully I won't eat one while I'm talking. Um, they like to come up and bug you. <laughs> That's why they're black flies. That's their job. So, anyhow, my dad, he, um, he, you know, worked outside, took care of the lawn. Mom was inside taking care of the house. Um, and my dad would often say to me as a teenager, why don't you come out and water the garden? Uh, no thanks, Dad. Uh, I think I'll take a walk. Um, no thanks, Dad. I got laundry to do. I had every excuse in the book not to come out and help my dad with his garden, except come out and clean the tomato plants off. And um, back in 2005, I was put in a life-changing position where I lost my husband and my mother two years earlier and was home with my dad and lost my dad. He um, passed away and he passed away in April, which led me to a spring, my very first spring at this house that I grew up in without a garden. No dad, no garden. Now the garden that he, he propagated was, or is, 15 feet wide and 60 feet long. So people were saying, Sandy, just put grass seed in there and then you'll be able to mow it. It'll be easy care and that's, you know, that's the easiest thing you'll have to do for maintenance. Not to worry. And boy, my heart sunk. I was like, I gotta do something for my dad out there. I gotta do a garden. Where do I get started? I didn't even know an annual from a perennial. And sometimes I still get confused on that. But as a novice, I went out and I bought perennials because I learned perennials, in my mind, is permanent plants. They come up year after year. They're going to be there as long as I water them and fertilize them. And I thought, I'll put a couple of those in and just see what I can do this year. See if they die, see if they work, whatever. Sure enough, they worked. A couple of years went by and I put a couple more in. And then I met this great guy who came to my life and had an extra pair of hands and someone who likes to be outside with me and we started working on the garden together. But one thing that I learned um, as I got out here, it's like it was my dad's serenity. It was his peace of mind, come out and work the soil and be out with the birds chirping and all that good stuff. So he really taught me a lot by example, even though I wasn't participating as a younger person um, but I learned that from him um, we have acidic soil here in this particular area and that I should never put oak leaves um, or pine spills in the soil or the garden as mulch because that will contribute to it and um, he used to check pH for balances and um, I, I really have not done that but I remember him talking about that certain plants do well with an acidic soil, certain plants do not. I know some plants do well in sun and some plants do well in shade. Do I know which plants are which? Nope, but I have to go read and learn about that. And I've done that just by observing tags at the, at the local stores or nurseries that I attend. Um, I have since learned, you know, try to well think out your plan in your garden ahead. Um, put my taller plants in the back my shorter ground covers in the front and if something doesn't work 
don't panic because you can dig it up, move it, or if it doesn't live, you could always replace it with something else. Um, I haven't been fond of manure any part of my life, so I'm still not dealing with that. But my mom used to have comp a compost bucket. Um, well, really, it was a bowl on the counter. And every day after we'd eat supper, out to the compost pile, that food would go, and it would deteriorate, and Dad would mix it up, and eventually come back in the garden. So I know about all that, and I just maybe haven't put it all to good use yet, but he gave me some great knowledge along the way. And I started this garden in memory of my dad. And one thing he did every year, which really was a beautiful thing, and I look forward to as much as my mother did, he would take either radish seeds or carrot seeds and he would make a design in the garden. Um, there were different messages every year to my mother. So one year it was a heart and it said, I love Lou. When the seeds grew, you could read that and see the heart. Um, another year it was like hugs and kisses. Uh, a third year it might have been XO, XO, hugs and kisses that way. Um, he always just had a special message for mom. And I will never see that again, but I hope to have pictures somewhere. I have to look them up. I, I think we would have taken pictures of that because it was pretty neat. But that just shows how much my dad loved my mom without saying a word. And again, all the love and care he put in the garden, the food went to the family. So he contributed in a way without having to lecture me. But he was a great example. Both of my parents were a great examples of human beings that did a lot for others, that were caring, and they didn't really tell us a lot. You know, they didn't communicate it as a lesson. They just did it by example. So I was very pleased to have them. And now I have to really work on this garden to keep it up. And I learned that I actually enjoy it. And having my sweetheart help me makes it even more fun because we can do it together. Um, along with the black flies and the two cats and the neighborhood cats, whoever comes our way at night, the deer come and eat my tulips. Um, they love hosta and people say, why did you plant them if you know you like them? They like them. I did it because I like the deer just as much. So that's pretty much the introductory to my gardening experience and we'll do some more gardening in the future on hands, hands on, what do you know? We'll show you some tricks and things I've learned along the way. Have a great day. Gotta go. Sandy Poe.